Vielen Dank, Studio Augsburg. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on KTV with the following question concerning the victims in the trade union building in Odessa. Did the victims die in a fire or were they massacred? Two days after the bloody events in Odessa, inhabitants climb up onto the roof of the trade union building. Among them is a man, we hear him, a survivor who can't bear it anymore, crying inconsolably. Take pictures of everything, it has to be seen. We didn't have any weapons, and they, he means the Kiev authorities, they say we had. We didn't even have a pistol, but they call us separatists. The pictures on the internet of the corpses in the trade union building let one suspect what really happened, but they are too gruesome for us to show at this point. The ground floor where the fire raged shows charred bodies, but even in the upper floors, which had not even really been burned, you can see partially burnt corpses. On one picture, you can see pools of blood stemming from the violence, which was the victim's actual cause of death. Afterwards, only the head of the victim was burned. The rest of the body and the clothing show no signs of even being singed. Also, the entire set of furniture in the room is completely intact, except for the head of the corpse. Nothing seems to have been burned. A young man and a young woman can be seen who were neither burned nor suffocated, they were otherwise killed. A dead woman near the elevator had her clothing removed from the waist downwards. Most likely she was raped, then covered with a flammable substance and set on fire. Numerous bodies were found shot in the head. The most shocking picture shows a very pregnant woman, a worker who probably was busy cleaning one of the offices. She shows no signs of being burned and was obviously strangled with an electrical cable. Apparently the victims in the building were tortured, murdered and had their hands and heads covered after this with flammable liquid so as to wipe away all the traces of violence and make it much harder to identify them. The lower parts of the bodies show no signs of burns. There are numerous untouched barricades to keep the trapped people from escaping to the higher floors. The suspicion is that the massacre inside the building was over with by the time the fire was set. And it was only a matter of finding official causes for the victim's death. But since the building was mainly made out of incombustible materials, the flames were limited to the lower floor. The evidence of the murders on the upper floors remained very visible. In fact, there are many indications that special operators of the Ukrainian Putsch government were inside the building already and executed one person after another. There were not only 43 victims, but 116 people were killed. One witness says that the people were herded into the building and murdered there. Two boys were beaten to death with clubs. A woman and her two children were burned alive. Ladies and gentlemen, after seeing these pictures of depicting a horrible massacre of innocent civilians in Odessa, there is nothing left to say. We close this broadcast with a few lines from German author Friedrich Schiller, his poem from 1799, The Song of the Bell. It's dangerous to wake the lion. Deadly is the tiger's catch. But the most terrible of terrors is the man in his craze.